So we're all getting ready for a, a new season, and, and uh, what are your expectations at this point uh, for the Purple Eagles this coming year? Well, the goal is the same every year. Mm -hmm. The goal is to win the league and get to the NCAA tournament. Um, we want to continue to take steps forward. Uh, we're in a position again where we have a lot of new guys. We brought uh, eight, nine new guys in. Uh, we have some good returners on the perimeter. Um, so we're looking to continue to take steps forward. And, and as I said, the goal is every year is get to that NCAA tournament. So tell us about the returning guys, the familiar faces and names we're going to see this year. I think we have a, a good returning perimeter. Uh, we have Karan Davis back, mm -hmm. uh, started a lot of games for us at the point. Uh, he's going to be a sophomore this year, uh, worked very hard on his game all summer, uh, expanded his shooting range. Um, so he does a good job for us taking care of the ball, runs the team, and I'm looking for him to take an expanded role in his scoring this year. Uh, we have Matt Scott back, who's also a sophomore. Uh, he was one of the Rookie of the Week awards, uh, award winners last year. Um, he's gotten bigger, stronger, faster, spent a lot of time in the weight room. Uh, he has a real knack to score, so I'm looking forward to seeing his progress from, from year one to year two. Mm -hmm. uh, Emil Blackman is back this year. Um, I thought Emil had a very good second half of the year last year. Uh, Emil finished the conference stats, I believe, top ten in scoring, field goal percentage, free throw percentage, and three-point percentage. Um, and he's worked extremely hard all summer, too. And uh, Cameron Fowler is back. Uh, he'll be a junior this year, as will Emil. Mm -hmm. And Cam has been a utility guy for us in the past, has filled in and, and done a, a terrific job in spots for us. And we're looking for him to take an expanded role also. Okay, then of all the new faces, who do you imagine will have the most impact right away and throughout the season? You know, it's really kind of hard to tell. Um, I think you really have to get into practice for a few weeks mm -hmm. to get a feel for that. I thought they all had very, very good summers. Uh, we were fortunate to have them with us the whole summer, uh, a total of eight weeks, eight weeks of working out, eight weeks in the weight room, eight weeks of going to class. Uh, so I thought that was very, that's going to be very effective for them uh, being in college workouts going into the year. So I think they all have an opportunity to make an impact to answer your question how much is going to be determined as the year goes on and what their production is like. Uh, but they're all going to get opportunities right from the beginning. And who are some of these guys? Let uh, the, the viewers get a little idea of some of the new names and faces. Well, uh, on the perimeter, we have a couple more guards we added to those four that I just mentioned. Uh, we have Chris Barton. Uh, Chris Barton is going to be a freshman. He's from Pontiac, Michigan. Uh, about 6'2", big, strong young man. Mm -hmm. um, scored a lot in high school, uh, averaged 20 plus a game. Uh, he's athletic, uh, and he plays fearless. So uh, he's going to have opportunities right away. Uh, we have a point guard from Syracuse, Romero Collier. Uh, Romero uh, was a two-sport athlete in high school, basketball and football. And, um, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's a leader. You know, and he does some very good things on the floor with the ball in terms of running your team, uh, assist the turnover ratio. Uh, so we look for him to fill in in spots and do some things for us also. Uh, our front court is all new. Uh, we brought in a couple of freshmen in Marvin Prochet, who I think has a chance to be very, very good. Um, he's from Brooklyn, uh, went to school out in Long Island. Uh, we brought another freshman, Dom Robb, who's from Pittsburgh, who's about 6'8", with a 7-foot wingspan. I think it's a very good upside to him and has really improved his offensive game over the summer. Uh, we brought in three junior college players, a uh, 6'9 kid uh, who's from Paris, France, Ali Two. Uh, very athletic, um, long, uh, runs the floor, blocks shots, can be a presence around the basket. Uh, Maurice Taylor, who is also a junior college transfer, uh, put up very solid numbers in junior college, and I expect the same, you know, when he hits the league. Um, and uh, Justin Satchel, who's from down this way in Florida, okay. uh, who put up some very, very good scoring numbers in junior college and is very versatile. Uh, so I'm looking for big things from him also. With the Gallagher Center, with the University, with Western New York, what are you selling to recruits these days about your program to entice high school kids to come in and be become part of uh, the Purple Eagles program? Well, the, the two big things we're selling, first is the university. It's an outstanding university. Uh, the academics are second to none. Uh, it's small and personalized, so the attention you're going to get uh, in terms of the development as a person and as a student uh, is second to none. So you really have a chance to lay a great foundation for the rest of your life at Niagara University. Uh, and then opportunity on the basketball court. Right. 
you know, we're in the process of building a program. Uh, we're looking to get a foothold and get some traction, and that's the next step this year. Um, and there's opportunity for you. There's opportunity because we're trying to build something. If you're a builder, you want to be part of it, this is your chance. Yeah, okay. And uh, at this point, I know we're still a million miles away from getting into game action. Where do you see Niagara fitting into the MAC right now as you make those moves forward? You know, I don't even look to see where we fit in. My concentration is to get us better every day. Mm -hmm. That's where my concentration is. Um, every player getting better every day and us getting better as a team. And I think that's going to put you in a place to fit in in a good spot. Okay. Of all the new rules changes that uh, we talked about, some of them this morning, what do you think will be the most impactful, either good or bad, for Niagara? Um, you know, I don't think the 30-second shot clock's going to be an issue. Um, it hasn't been for us in the past, the 35. We, we didn't, haven't had shot clock violations, and we try to get the ball up and down the floor. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's going to help us defensively because we do do some pressing. Uh, so I think it's going to get teams maybe slowed down a little bit, maybe give them a little less clock to work with in the half court. The one I think is going to be interesting is that, that timeout change. Mm -hmm. um, there's going to be some, some gaffes, I think, with that mm -hmm. as we go through the year. And you're going to have to coach your kids to learn to call timeout. Right. Um, so that one's going to be interesting.